Hello everybody, my name is Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching guys. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because today's topic is from Jessica O's. I hope I'm saying your name right, um, about top six male insecurities women don't care about. Listen, let's see. Let's see what she has to say and I will give you my two cents about, you know, what's going to be said in this video. And uh, I think this one will be a very interesting one. So let's go. So everyone's insecure and insecurities can make you... Let's just appreciate how beautiful this woman is. She is beautiful. Okay, Jessica, you are very beautiful. You've got charisma. You're, you're beautiful. Let's just say that. Okay, so I love it and I love your voice. I think she has... I know, I know her already. And so I think she has a fantastic voice and yeah, I know she does voiceover. So if you want somebody to do a voiceover for any of your videos, check her out because she is a person for you. Okay. So let's go. Look, sound and just generally seem like a really, like someone you're not, you mm. know, um, but you can't help it. You know, I, for instance, have a few insecurities I'd rather not mention on this video. <laughs> um, we all do. I feel we all do. But I guess with age, there comes a time you don't really care about those anymore. And I think that's my strength over the years. I just don't uh, care about anything. I'm like, I'm built the way I'm built. Is there something I can do about it? So if the answer is yes, then I just go ahead and change those things to become a better person, a better version of myself for myself first. Is, there some, is it something that I can't change? And so be it. And I feel that insecurities um, just bring us down and, you know, they just um, stop us from becoming better people. But I feel that um, we can just go past them, accept them, embrace them and make them our strengths. And yeah, we all do. But I think there is, it just depends on how you react to your insecurities. Are they, are they bringing you down or are they... You know, are you using them as stepping stones to become a better person? So, uh, but yeah, I mean, psh, totally everybody's okay. got it. And it's no surprise that a lot of men have insecurities as mm -hmm. well. Today, I'm going to be highlighting, in my opinion, after talking to quite a number of male friends and colleagues, the top six insecurities mm. that men have. And I'll be telling you why they actually shouldn't be because the women don't actually care okay yeah okay let's see i will give my honest opinion do i care don't i care i will tell you let's jump right in right I love your intro. Welcome back. My name is Jessica. So if you hear a bit of a sound in the background, forgive me. I have a church in my neighborhood and they decided for some reason to come out on a weekday and do whatever it is <laughs> they're doing there. So a bit of that church noise may be trickling into the microphone, okay. but I hope that you can forgive me because the conversation is actually going to be worth your time. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So top six insecurities that men have that actually do not matter when it comes to women okay what are they number one listen let's talk about height okay now this is a conversation <laughs> I have had on several platforms both public and private yeah talking about um, height I feel this is something that as you know when you're a teenager and this is like the top one things that people say oh the let's say girls say uh, you know, we always say, oh, I want someone who's taller than me, uh, you know, because that's how you feel like protected and stuff like that. Uh, most girls don't want shorter men than them. So this is, um, this is something that is very common, but I feel personally, I know it's an issue because I'm, I'm very tall, you know, I'm quite tall. So I would rather have someone who's my height um for the same reasons even now with age um just to feel you know like he's the man you know so yeah uh i think it's still women don't really 
I feel it's important to have a, a man who's taller than you to most women. So I wouldn't say they don't care about it. I feel you'd rather have like the same height or a man who's taller than you, shorter than you. I don't know. It's less common. So I disagree on this one. Now, I know typically women tend to want men who are taller. Right. It's just the way we've been brought up to look up to the men in our lives. And not just a matter of it being a figure of speech, but uh -huh. actually physically look up to the man in our lives. Right. Um, however, not all men are vertically blessed. Mm -hmm. Does that make them less desirable? No. For some women? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so because by the end of the day, um, it's all about the the vibes between both of y'all because I feel that um, y you can have like a tall man, but then he doesn't curse. He doesn't really, there is nothing going on, you know, no chemistry between both of you he, or he doesn't, he doesn't have what you're looking for when it comes to, uh, to principles, to you know, your way of life, your vision and stuff like that. So I don't think so. I don't think it makes him less of a man or makes him less desirable. Um, but yeah, I know I don't. Yes. But trust me, there are a lot more things that come to play, like mm -hmm. the woman's age, the woman's personality, right. the woman's dreams and aspirations, mm -hmm. for instance. Now, let me break this down. Does height matter? Yes, it does. But in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to um, actually landing you a decent partner, I would say no. I think height generally impacts first impressions, but things right. quickly turn around for this guy if he has other positive traits that he has to show. Mm -hmm. And I know that it can be a little heartbreaking for guys or for men who are vertically challenged, so to speak, you know, not too tall, um, and usually their love interests are either the same height or even maybe slightly taller than them. Mm -hmm. And of course, I don't blame you guys for feeling that way because a lot of women tend to say, I mean, when you ask an average woman on the street, who is your ideal man in terms of physical characteristics? Mm -hmm. Chances are the first thing she will say is he has to be tall, tall, right. tall, <laughs> tall. Right. I, yeah, I assume it, you know, because being a tall woman, I feel it would be awkward to have like someone who's shorter than me, but, but I wouldn't mind, um, if this person really corresponds to, you know, the, the values that I carry, why not? But mm, it would be like a slight problem. Oh, right. Dark and handsome. Right. Well, then again, depends on your race, you know, and that kind of thing. But yeah, tall is usually the very first criteria. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that all these rich, not so tall men have something, know something that we are probably oblivious to? There might be something going there. Yes, height, like I said, may impact first impressions. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, does it really matter? You could be taller in other departments. And... Yeah, girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Why not? Okay. Boy, I think that brings a lot more <laughs> to the table than I right. ever will. Catch my drift. Let's talk about this other insecurity that a lot of guys have if they do not drive a nice car. Hmm. Okay. Now, that is so shady. You know, there was a time where most girls were like, oh my God, my boyfriend has a car. Um, and oh, everything was like, he's got a car. But who cares? It's not your car. Um, I feel it has always been my dream um, to, I've always, and my mom taught me that, is you need to be independent. As a woman, you must be, there is, you never know what may happen tomorrow so it's very important for you to be independent financially and for that you have to you know to be educated so you, it can open doors and horizons and stuff like that but what i mean it doesn't i would rather be with somebody who is taking a bike or 
or walking to work, but this person has values. And because I guess by the end of the day, it all adds up to, do you guys share the core values? Um, are you guys going to grow together? And why not buy that car together? But why should I date somebody because they have a car? It's just like dating a girl who is a bimbo, like very beautiful, but nothing in the brain. Okay, so yeah, I agree with you, Jessica, on this one. Okay, I agree with you. Um, women don't care. Or I would say intelligent, principled, um, educated women do not care about a man who has a car because he probably has one. But what's upstairs? Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. Like, it's pretty fancy when, you know, the no. guy you're dating or a guy you have eyes for actually drives in with some really bad... I mean, he's probably driving that car out of, you know, he um he took a loan out of it and he's got nothing else. Uh, I would rather someone who's going to invest. Okay, tell me that uh, I'm investing. I just bought my first um, apartment or house. And okay, because that's you know that's an important um asset but if it's just a car it's just materialistic you know so i think the priority for me would be someone who's probably into business and investing and showing me that you know they they've got the brains and they they have like a larger vision rather than just being all dressed up uh in in brand and the bank is empty or nothing you know no investment so no badass car you mm -hmm. know one that you really really you know as right. seen only in the movies pretty right. much but the truth is how many average people can actually afford those kind of rides uh -huh. and uh, that would be almost nobody so does it mean that the average man who drives you know a regular car whatever your regular may be cannot find love i think that he can Mm -hmm. Now, the actual truth of the matter is this. I tend to believe that the whole driving nice cars thing is more of a status symbol for men. It's more for men than for women. It's like for your own ego, you know, if you mm -hmm. drive a nice car and you drive up to this right. event where all your friends are going to be there, step out of your car, that's a badass social statement right there. Okay, which is wrong, which is false because... um. I mean, you can you can play, you can try and place somebody with a car, but you, are you you're not attracting the right per, kind of person because women who like men with fancy cars or extra reach and stuff like that, they're just there for the money and not necessarily for you as a person. So it depends what you're targeting. Are you targeting a woman who, who with whom you can build, or are you targeting just for the show off, just to say, hey, look at my girl, she's a bimbo, but then what? That's a thing, so. And I feel like a lot of men actually try to sort of live up to that standard. And right. That whole thing that if you drive a nice car, then it's obvious that you are successful, right? right. For the most part, I believe it's an ego thing. And mm -hmm. a lot of women don't really care. Mm -hmm. What is the true functionality of a car? It's to get you from point A to point B. Trust me, I have gone on dates where I have nicer, a nicer car than the guy who picked me up. But did it take anything away from the day? No. Did it take his respect away from him? No. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. Because I thoroughly enjoyed those dates and I thought that the guys were, you know, awesome in their own capacity. So if you meet a woman who is being so superficial and looking at, you know, the kind of car you drive mm -hmm. to sort of come to a decision about you, then she's not a woman you want to be with no. anyway. So let's no. squash that. Completely. Right. Bald head. Bald head. Okay, maybe you can just rub the head a little bit, you know? I mean, women don't care. Well, at least I don't. I don't. I don't really care about uh, if he's bald-headed or not. For me, it doesn't remove anything from a man. Um, and I find it charming myself, so I don't care. It's, oof, bald heads. Now, I've seen a lot of guys go through emotional torture so to right. speak the moment they begin but you know we live in a society where hair is everything even for us as women and i feel like people believe that when you have hair then you're attractive you know and you're more attractive 
which is false. I mean, in this world, you have um, the people who love teddy bears, others who like the, the hair, so you can just like, you know, you can move your fingers in the hair and stuff like that. But I mean, we all have, you know, our own types and yeah, so personally, I don't, I don't really care at all. And to realize that they have a receding hairline. Right. The reactions, you know, and, and right. I've realized that a lot of men now um, tend to shave it all off. So, you know, mm. once they begin to see bald patches in their heads and whatnot, they just shave it all off. Right. Here's the interesting thing. Bald men sort of have a lot more dominance than men with full hair. And I don't mm. say that in a, like, bad, condescending way. I'm just saying that because they feel like they have no hair, a lot of them tend to, from where I sit anyway, a lot of them tend to um, compensate in other aspects of their lives. Think about it, though. W what are we going to be doing with your hair? Yeah, run your hands through his hair. <laughs> I mean, if you're marrying an African man, chances are you can't. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Really run your hands <laughs> in his hair. And it, there's nothing like having a bald head and just rubbing it. <laughs> so yeah, I think right. bald men actually have like one up on men with full hair. Oh yeah. Okay. So the O S is Opari Sapphire. Okay. I get it. I let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I mean, this is like. Um, a controversial one, but yeah, you know, I don't think that you guys. Yeah, it doesn't make you less of a man because you're bald. So women don't care unless you have someone who really likes their men with uh with hair as much as you. Have. You others prefer one with muscles or you know with tabs, chocolate tabs, or another one who prefers a te uh, teddy bear. You know, like someone who's you can rub the tummy. So I mean, it all comes down to what's your type. I mean, for those who have types, you know, so it doesn't matter. Mm. You guys need to worry a lot about whether you have a receding hairline or not. Bold is the new sexy, they say. Right. But leave it. All right, now let's address the elephant in the room. Number four, let's address the elephant in the room. Oops. Does size matter? Does the size of your penis actually matter? I've spoken to quite a number of women, and you would... I don't know if you'd believe me, but a lot of them say no. Right. Right. I was going to say the same thing. It doesn't really matter. I guess what really matters is, you know, in intimacy, does your man know how to please you? That's all. I mean, that's all. So I feel there is a big deal around size because you can have someone who has size, yes, but they don't really know how to, to go about it. You know, you see what I mean? So... I believe size doesn't matter and um, if there's this whole big deal around size and you're like what no it's okay it's okay to have a normal one as long as you know how to use it that's, that's all I can say that's all that's all um, yes if you have big junk in your trunk it's <laughs> kind of exciting to know that you know like ooh, this guy is packing <laughs> but Guys like that, like, women don't necessarily want to be in long-term relationships with guys like that. They actually end up with, you know, the guy who is medium to average size. Because, mm. you know, at the end of the day, that's what you can contain comfortably for the rest of your <laughs> life. As opposed to having a guy with a huge member <laughs> who, you know, that gives you a lot of discomfort during sex. So, no offense to guys who have, you know big members but the truth is when it comes to long term and ladies if you're watching this video let me know if I'm just like fibbing but you know when it comes to long term you're not actually looking for a guy with a really huge no. huge thing right no um no I mean it's meant to you know I mean no no it doesn't it doesn't matter I, by the end of the day as long as you know uh, how to please your partner, they know how to please you. That's that's what really matters, you know, and I feel that's where couples go wrong is they don't know 
um, you know, the, the love languages of each other and they don't really, especially men, don't, they're very uh, selfish when it comes to, you know, to, to sex because they, they don't know how to please their woman. And, you know, they're those one minute men. So I would say what really bothers women will be the one minute men, you know, um, that's what size. No, it's not. No. Okay. But so far as it's not like tiny, <laughs> like you can't find it. Tiny. <laughs> You're all right. You're actually all right. Money, money, money. Now throughout like the comments on my channel, like, mm -hmm. <sighs> Most of the things that guys think about is, yeah, money, 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 money. It's like, get money and you'll get all the women in the world. I've addressed this in a couple of videos, talking about how mm. money isn't everything. No. And listen, truth is, right, it's nice to have money. I'm not saying be broke. I'm not saying if you are so broke that you can barely even put food on your table, any woman is going to be attracted to that. Of course not. I mean, you don't even like the kind of person you are. Why do you think someone else will like you in your current state? I'm just saying that I'm not expecting you to be able to just fly me in a private jet all across the country. Yeah. No, far from that. I, I just need a man who's doing okay. Like he could put food on the table. I can have right. the kids taken care of. We can have the kids taken care of. Mm -hmm. And someone who has a vision because you can meet somebody who's, um, who's not financially off, but they've got a dream and they're working towards their dream. I mean, I feel we as women, should be capable of capable of seeing the potential in a person especially when you're dating uh when you're younger you need to know first of all who you are what you're looking for what are your core values what are you looking for in a person and it i think the mistake we make as women is we we concentrate on the physical part like he has to be tall handsome um have a car um, and have money. No, we need to look, we need to see the potential a person has, um, you know, depending on the discussions you have and, and you see if this person is really serious because you can have all those things together. You don't have to um, get there when you're ready, when he's rich and stuff like that. No, it's his money. How, how about you building an empire together and making it your money as a couple? So, Money is not important. And women don't care, especially women who are genuine do not care about, um, you know, having a man who's got the money. No. And just meet our very um, basic needs. And I think for a lot of women, that's really it. You don't right. have to be filthy rich to get the girl of your dreams. No. And I, I, I've said that before. Right. In fact, if you haven't seen that video, check out my channel and watch it right now. And uh, let me know what you think. And finally, huge muscles. <laughs> No, I'm, I, I love teddy bears. That's all I can say. So I know a lot of men who are not gym rats, you know, tend right. to be intimidated a little bit, you know, admit it, like a little bit, right? Mm. When um, there are these other men in the running who have like bulging muscles and six packs and oh. look like something out of a magazine. <clears throat> Here's the other thing. They're not in the majority. That means that right. leaves about 60% of the population right. or, or, or more actually right. of women, 60 or 70% of the population of women um, stranded with less defined men. Mm -hmm. Does that make them less human? No. Less desirable? No. I think not. I think most women are just looking for a guy who takes good care of himself. So you can be middle-aged, you could be in your 30s, you could be in your 20s, but so far as you you can you take good care of yourself physically right. like you look good you're you're not carrying too much weight around you know and and a lot of people think that is and if they do it's okay it's okay i mean we all have types and we all like different types of people so and there is everything for everybody so i feel it's all about i'm telling you by the end of the day in my opinion it's all about the core values that you, both of you share you know, because that's what will take you far and, you know, have a long relationship and why not marriage and then family and, and grow all together. It's all about the core values because by the end of the day, you know, when the foundation is strong, then the house cannot fall over unless you have 
infidelity issues or stuff like or death you know um because it's it's very important to have like a strong foundation that whenever the storm comes then the house will not just fall over you know during the first uh storm so it's just a man thing where maybe mm -hmm. a lot of men don't necessarily want like oversized women or obese women of right. course there are those who like them as well right but for this case in point i'm just saying it's vice versa women also don't tend to like like men who carry on too much weight so yeah i mean these are the six insecurities top insecurities that i think men worry a bit too much about um you know that sort of keeps them stressing you right. know what do you think in the comments below and uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about my, um, basically the look of my videos. You can check out my gear in the video description as well. I have listed everything that I use on this particular mm -hmm. channel. Go on there, check them out on Amazon, buy them if you want, and we should be good to go. Well, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jessica. Smash the like button, subscribe. <laughs> you know you have to. Yes, guys. Oh, wow. That was an interesting conversation. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, and yes, I think we all have, you know, different opinion when it comes to these things. And most of them are irrelevant, really, men. Stop worrying over things like that. And you need to know your values as well. So when you see a woman who's just there for the materialistic stuff, then run, baby. Run. Okay. I love this conversation, Jessica. And make sure you subscribe as well. Let me know what you think. If you're a woman, let me know um, if you agree or disagree uh, with some points. And if you're a man, let me know if you know some women who are more materialistic, right? So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, make sure you subscribe. You tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Okay? Thank you guys and bye.